Did you know that in 1961, a nuclear reactor literally launched a man into the ceiling with a control rod through his body? It happened at Idaho's National Reactor Testing Station during what should have been routine maintenance. Three military operators were working the evening shift on the small experimental reactor called SL-1. Richard McKinley, Jack Burns, and Richard Legg were performing standard procedures when something went terribly wrong. At 9.01 p.m., McKinley manually pulled a single control rod just 23 inches too far. The reactor went critical instantly, creating a massive steam explosion that rocked the entire facility. When rescue teams arrived, they found a scene from hell. One operator was pinned to the ceiling by the control rod that had impaled him completely through his body. The radiation was so intense that recovery teams could only work for minutes at a time. The bodies were so contaminated that hands had to be cut off and buried separately. But the real mystery remains unsolved. Why did McKinley pull that rod? Some believe it was murder-suicide, triggered by a love triangle between the three men.